Hello YouTube and welcome back to Bloons Monkey City. I just logged in uh, to my account and all that, so I said your city is now level 2. You earned 100 gold or coins or money or whatever you want to call that. Uh, city cash, I guess you could say. Um, 20 bloom stones, and now I have plus 40, uh, or actually no, not plus 40, just I have 450. Why did I say 40? Anyways, uh, now I have 450 in-game starting cash and 25 in-game starting lives. I'll explain that in a little bit, uh, but also the banana farm is ready to collect on. And before I do anything else, I'm going to start um, another level, another uh, map, I guess. So now that I start with 450, uh, I can actually start off placing two dart monkeys, which is pretty useful, you know, considering. <laughs> Alright, um, set that one to last, so that's a little bit more of a lane buster. And yeah, I'll keep that one on first. Uh, just in case. And then again, just place this one there. Alright, so now that I've got that other monkey to focus on the first balloons, I'll have these two focus on the last, which really does not matter <laughs> because it's such a quick level. Uh, so quick. Uh, Alright, so Poptastic, you captured a mountain tile, bonus cash 135, and no lives lost, extra bloom stone, blah blah blah. Alright, so in here, this is where you upgrade stuff. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually supposed to be more of a tutorial, but because I stopped playing that it, like, cancelled the tutorial or because it got disconnected or something. But anyways, um, so here, with the dart monkey, long range darts, blah blah blah, uh, it costs $200 and earns 25 experience. Uh, or it could get the sharp darts, and I'm actually going to go with the long range darts first, because you can only do one, or you can only upgrade one path at a time. Now you might also notice that, hey look, the boomerang thrower upgrades, but wait, I don't have any boomerang throwers. That's right, the monkey academy will upgrade for the dart monkey and the boomerang thrower. Uh, so you can only do one path at a time on one single uh, monkey type, but you can, do, you can upgrade two monkeys at a time. Uh, so I'm actually going to upgrade the multi-target uh, because I have enough money. Now here, the Monkey Town Hall, that increases the Monkey Village uh, upgrades, but I don't really have any need for the Monkey Village yet, and I'm not really going to be using it too much, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, the power, uh, I'm using 50 of 70 generated of power generated, um, and of course these three Dark Monkey Halls. Uh, so the Windmill, uh, that increases my power, or the amount of power that I have for my city. And the bank increases the amount of money that I can hold, uh, 1500 So, uh, also on the left, these are your achievements, or not achievements, um, like goals or missions. So, long range starts, research long range starts, upgrade, researching upgrades in your upgrade buildings. This is a vital part of making your monkey city great. Start by giving your dart monkeys extra reach by researching the long range starts uh, upgrade from the monkey academy. Then, there's the treasure chest. Get a treasure chest. There's a treasure chest in these lands, sometimes piles of city cash or balloon stones. But if you're really lucky, you may find a special item. Look for land that has a gold chest on it and capture the land to get that chest. So I'm pretty sure this is the closest one. Uh, or, no, that's not closer. Uh, neither is that one. Um, Alright, so there's actually three close by. Uh, this is the closest one. But, uh, one general tip or rule of thumb is to always build or uh, capture land in this sort of spiral pattern uh, because that's the that's the way the difficulty increases. Uh, switch on. Build a windmill. Don't run out of power. The windmills generate power so you can keep building other useful stuff. Build a windmill now. No, not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue capturing land uh, because it's really easy and uh, it's quick. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I don't like this stage, but um, what you may have noticed or may notice right now, is that right now I don't have long range charts because I'm still researching it uh, on that building. Uh, and I think it said it was going to take 5, maybe 15 minutes. I wasn't actually paying attention. I uh, should have paid attention, but... Uh, Alright, so this stage, eh, it comes up kind of a lot, or at least when I was playing. And I don't really like it because I can't use Glaive Ricochet, but it's not like I have Glaive Ricochet anyways. Uh, and still just 3 levels, or 3 rounds, so it's not really a big deal. But just the balloons, as you can see, come up and zigzag under this bridge. So you can only attack them in those little areas. And then right here, they split off into that two paths where, of course, it's 
interrupted me. But uh, anyway, it's great job. You captured a grass tile. Blah, blah, blah. And let's see. Actually, wait. Um, you can either... Well, can you... No. Uh, okay. I don't want to finish upgrade. Click on the upgrades thing down here. And then go to the Monkey Academy. So, alright. I only need a minute and a half left. And then uh, seven minutes on this one. So, let's continue on. Uh, more land to capture. Ooh, this one, I don't really like this stage either. Uh, but again, no problem, because it's still the beginning, so it's still really easy. Um, still should just be red balloons. I didn't actually look at whether or not this was a uh, red balloon or a blue balloon uh, level. Pretty sure it's still red balloon, though. So these first few stages, they're pretty much just giving you the land, which I'm totally okay with. But uh, it does get much harder later on. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, that was really easy. Really, really easy. Uh, Monkey high five, you captured mountain tile, blah, blah, blah. Alright, uh, another... Uh, <laughs> another level, another land to capture. Ooh, this is probably my favorite. Actually, I'm going to place here. Um, this is one of my favorite levels, just because it's so symmetrical, and they make it so easy, because if you place towers right here in the middle, if you can follow this path, they go back into the middle, like, okay, one, two, three, four, like five times, which, I mean, I, I kind of figured it was five, I was just double checking that it wasn't ten, <laughs> but, I mean, they get right in the middle for that same tower. If you have a good tower with good range right here in the middle, then this is just, it's nearly impossible to lose on that stage. I mean, I'm sure it's plenty possible, but still, it's just, come on. Alright, and long grade starts uh, completed. And again, I have more than my uh, carrying capacity of uh, that. Alright, so the enhanced eyesight increases attack range even further and allows dart monkeys to shoot camo balloons. It costs 1,000, but it requires the center of camo countermeasures. And again, is that really how you spell center? Like, I've seen it spelled that way. Uh, S, or not S, uh, C E N T R E. It's the R E that kind of bugs me. I've always seen it E R. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's actually a typo or if that's just how people spell it in other places. But anyways, I'm actually going to upgrade the sharp darts first, because uh, that's only going to take 10 minutes. Uh, Alright, so, still need to get a treasure chest, which is still going to take a while. And then this is saying, build a windmill, but I don't want to build a windmill yet, because I want to build them all together, because I'm OCD like that, even though I'm not OCD. But now, I can get increased attack range! Which, I'm not really sure how good this tower placement was, but, eh, it's good enough. Alright, then just place this one over here. And again, it's probably better to place it right in the middle, because then you have three chances to attack the balloons. Which is always nice, but because there's three, and uh, because I have three monkeys, and I don't, <laughs> there's only three rounds, um, I'm going to try to build one right here, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to gather enough money, but I don't really need any more money, it's just, it's kind of a tradition, I guess. Uh, Alright, so, again, it's so easy at the beginning. So easy. But I guess it might be hard if you don't know where to place your monkeys. Um, and, yeah, might as well go for another land. Like, really? And, uh, I guess I could take this moment um, to actually... Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't want to place it there. I wanted to do something else, but um, I can take this moment to ask you, uh, what do you think the good format would be for this let's play um, and remember this was a bad location right here because there was barely any room when you increase your range then you've got even more range to cover and it's much better placement but anyways um, what do you think would be a good format for this uh, let's play like how should I space things out because really 10 minutes it's really short because <laughs> there's so much you can do but then there's so much waiting because of those upgrades uh, which is a little frustrating because I'd say it's almost like a Facebook game because of all the waiting, I guess. But it's much better than a Facebook game, that's for sure. Like, this is definitely... If this was a Facebook game, it'd be like the best Facebook game in the world. <laughs> At least in my opinion. Uh, just because it has so much more, like, you know, actual tower defense stuff. And even though it is really easy right at this point, um, it's still a really fun entertaining thing and the music in this game is really good. Uh, I really enjoy the music. Uh, I'm sure there's, well, I was gonna say, I'm sure there's some people that post videos of just the music, so you can probably look those up, 
but an awesome sauce. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Oh look, Yosemite is now level three, and I have 550 in-game starting cash and 30 starting lives, and blah blah blah. All right, so uh, build on my capture land resource uh, windmill, and it takes 30 minutes to build, so that's going to be a while. Um, all right, so now uh, let's see. It just takes two more minutes for that. Seven more minutes for that. Uh, I guess I could just keep building or keep conquering land because it's so easy, <laughs> so easy. But um, really, the difficulty of the land is mostly dependent on uh, what the actual track is because. Let me tell you, there are some tracks that are just so frustratingly difficult, even for like a lower level bloon level. Like, uh, obviously, if you're just having red bloons, then there's not really many tracks that can actually make you lose. But once you get up into like the pinks or the leds, um, those levels, if you get a bad track, like if the track is difficult, then uh, it. It's difficult, I'll tell you that, which, I mean, sounds pretty self-explanatory or repetitive, but uh, it's difficult um, to beat this game sometimes. And that was off-center, and that's going to bug me, but, uh, oh well, I'm just going to keep it there, because this game is so easy. Which, I mean, I just said, like, it gets difficult, but this beginning part is so easy. Uh, this game does definitely make me appreciate Dart Monkeys more, because uh, a mistake that I actually made... Uh, is that I have like t or had like 20 dart monkeys uh, in my previous city and uh, that was not a good idea because that took up a lot of real estate uh, and the, the land that you have is very important. Um, you should definitely try to think a lot more about what you're building uh, before you build too much because when you sell a building or you demolish it really um, all that money, or you don't, I don't think you actually get money for demolishing it. It just gets rid of some of your experience uh, for your city, which I should actually talk about uh, once I'm done with this little track. But um, demolishing is really just a better way, or it's just a good way to uh, get more land uh, to build other things on. It's not really good for anything else, <laughs> which I guess makes sense, but, um, or it's pretty self explanatory, but. Uh, you'll see what I mean when you actually play the game and you have a lot more towers and you have more towers than you need and all that. Uh, so, alright, great job, blah, blah, blah. And I really enjoy how there's uh, like a storm <laughs> going on right now. Uh, and now to me, this right here, how it's just this little tiny patch of desert right next to this lake, to me that looks like a bug, but I don't think it's a bug, it's just the randomly generated uh, terrain because not all the terrain is the same on all the maps. I know, look, a rainbow. But uh, anyways, up here in the top left corner, 185 more experience uh, for my next level. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. That actually tells you how many pieces of land. I don't know if that's new or not. I don't remember that uh, being there. But anyways, uh, let's see. So uh, I'm just going to take more land because I'm waiting for my upgrades. And uh, like I was saying a bit earlier, uh, yeah, it would be a lot more work, I guess, uh, for, on my hand, or on my part. But would you want me to, like, cut ahead to when those upgrades are done? Because if I did that, I could just play, like, all day uh, and just cut little pieces together so that you don't have to wait for all the upgrades and everything. Um, but then, like I said, I'd be doing this all day and cutting pieces together. Which means that uh, the episodes might come out either later in the day, or I might just have to take like one day off to actually like uh, make that kind of episode. Um, but obviously, just let me know in the comments. And all right, so I've got one thousand nine hundred and ten dollars, and I only need, or we can only carry fifteen hundred. So, all right, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build another bank. Uh, go to resource, monkey bank, I can hold two, and oh, it only takes 25 minutes. Alright, so now, uh, what's next? Uh, I guess I should just take this final piece of land, uh, just to even out my city. 
All right, and I could use hotkeys uh, to make that little thing a little bit faster, but eh, it's such a quick uh, process of just placing towers. All right, and I'll get a lot more into strategy uh, once strategy becomes more, eh, you know, necessary. <laughs> but um, right now, I'm just showing you the basics and showing you these maps and uh, the music. Really enjoy this music. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. I, I really enjoy the music, I guess. Uh, Alright. So, that's a nice little thing. I've got 16 pieces of land. 4x4. Four four. And, alright. Still gonna take 2 minutes. Oh, wait. Uh, the boomerang's done. So, I'm actually... Uh, I can't afford to cry to level 4. Uh, I'm actually gonna start Sonic Boom on its upgrade. And, what else? What else should I do? I guess uh, something I should be paying attention to is the base buildings in build. Dart Monkey Hall increases your Dart Monkeys, obviously Boomerang Hut, Spike Factory Warehouse, Sniper's Recluse, Ninja Abode, Bomb Range, House of Ice, Tax Shooter Storage Facility, Glue Gun Range Port, Ace Airport, Super Monkey Villa, uh, or Via, I don't know, Villa, uh, Wizard's Tower, Mortar's, Mortar Range, Dartling Gun Cache, Pineapple Stand, Spike Shack, and Monkey Village. These two, Pineapple Stand and Spike Shack. Those allow you to place road spikes and pineapples. Uh, you know, if you didn't figure that out already. Uh, I don't really use them very often, so I don't really worry too much about them. Uh, the Spike Factory is not available until level 5, so I'm not going to be able to make those. But Boomerang Hut, uh, I'm, I am going to make some of those. Uh, and, uh, okay, well, I need <laughs> uh, more money and more power. And actually, no, I don't need more money. I just need uh, more power, which means I need to wait for the windmills to finish building, which I could use bloomstones on, but I really want to wait, because this is just 30 minutes, or less than 30 minutes, and it's really not a big deal. But here, oh, look at that. My upgrade's almost done. My uh, sharp shots. And also, I just remembered the center of camo detection. I should uh, get that next, but all right. In... 10 seconds. I'm not going to just sit here and wait for 10 seconds. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, monkey versus monkey I'll talk about later. And Why is it glowing? Researching blah blah blah. I don't care. Um, <laughs> now, mm, no, I was thinking I could probably just upgrade more. Alright, 25 experience uh, because that finished. Alright, so now I need the center of camo detection. Uh, let's see. Build it there. It doesn't really matter if I click there yet, but um, special buildings. That's where it is. I need to get to level town, town level 5, and I need more money. Alright, so I guess I can't really do anything else there. Um, monkey versus monkey, I'll talk about later. Windmill, yeah, I guess I'll set another windmill uh, to build. Alright, so I guess I'm going to call that an episode. Um, got quite a bit done. <laughs> Obviously captured uh, quite a few pieces of land. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Actually, wait. Uh, do, oh, yeah, that's right. I was <laughs> going to say, can I build another boomerang hut? But I needed more uh, power. That's right. Alright, so, like I said, and actually, yeah, that's why. Uh, because the next easiest track, I guess, is on the hills terrain, and they restrict your use of dart monkeys. So, I would need some other type of uh, tower or monkey to get past that. So, that's why uh, I need something else. All right. And actually, it's only a few seconds left. I mean, 45 seconds, so about a minute. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, let me know what you think about the format and the length of this episode. I don't want to make like an hour every day uh, because that would take like five hours to upload. Um, but, yeah. So that's it for this episode. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.